and now we're going to create a new test case within the particular test plan that we have already created in order to do that click this new button and here it will show you the test case since I have already created a lot of test cases for uh, for another test plan so this is an option showing five star well I'm going to create a test case for my system info button so I'm going to write like this testing system info process running tab and here the status is showing me to whom it is assigned so I got no user so I am selected by default so the state of the test case is it is in design state so far it is in design state okay and priority I'm going to give this one and status automated status not automated but I'm going to just click it as planned because I'm going to be planning for running it as an automation fashion and this is the area which I'm going to run the iterations so in which iteration the test case should be executable so I'm going to select iteration 1 so in this steps I can s I can actually insert all the test cases in order to do that first you can manually write all the test case steps else you can also copy paste so in order to consume the time I have created the test case already so this is the test case that I have for the system info button just copy it and here in the test manager just click it and click the paste so this will show you all the steps for that particular operation that we're going to perform in this test case so here you can see that I have in the fourth step I have selected the select the process at the process this at is nothing but the uh, variable that I'm going to pass for this particular uh, test so this can act as a parameter so here in this parameter I can give anything say here I'm going to just uh, give notepad so you'll understand why I'm giving notepad for now so this is where we can create the uh, test cases now click save and close so you can see that in the planning stage I have we have a test case under a particular test plan that we have created and now in order to test this particular test case click the test option and now you will see that our actual test case is in active state this means we have not run the test case else this test case needs to be run but basically uh, this test case will be active in two stages one if there is any build change for a particular module say for example this system info button then automatically the test case will be in active state so this we will discuss further more in moving forward so I'm going to run this test case just select the run option here minimize this open our application so this is our application as well here okay so I'm going to run this test case for our system info button in order to do to do that just select the option here create action recording because I'm going to record this everything so click the start test so open the application I'm not going to open the application in automated fashion so it's in manual so the application is open so I'm going to mark it as pass and click the system info button I'm going to click that it's working fine so I'm going to give it pass and the process running tab click the show process button I'm going to do that that's it so I'm giving you it as pass and now what I'm saying is I'm going to select the process notepad so let's do that I'm going to select the notepad here and this is also got passed and I'm going to click the end process button there we go so this is also passed so all this option got passed and it will show me one parameters are not mapped manually enter the value will be used for playback well this works because we have entered this manually and now click the end iteration okay so 
by this way we can just action record all the functionalities in the particular test case in the test plan now we are going to execute the test case that we have recorded now in order to do that just select the options from the first step to the end of the step and click the play button before clicking the play button let's first open the notepad file keep it closed while we record it so click the notepad file open and now click the play button so once you click the play button it will open the system info you select the notepad and click the end process button so all these steps will be performed so this is how you